Hey folks, welcome back to Oracle Seasons. Uh, we're going to be making our way to the 8th dungeon this time around. And it's actually... It's probably the most interesting... Not that one. Uh, I think it's the most interesting setting for it to be in. Since, you know, seasons, blah blah blah, they're, they try to get away with being original by having different seasons around. But here, this is actually unique environment, terrain kind of deal. So let's avoid this P-hat. Destroy these like-likes. And if you went adventuring, exploring earlier on in the game, you might have run into uh, these sons of a bitches right here. Yeah, they're a bit out of your league when you first get here. As for these guys, if I mentioned that this guy comes from a length of the past where he was a boss in the first castle, I don't think I'd mention that enough. Anyway, actually I should, well I shouldn't, but over here is Onyx's castle, which we cannot currently access, because he's an exclusive club and we're not evil enough and we get repelled. I'm a meanie head. Also, take a look at the coloration for these tree sprites. Maybe it's a filter I'm using, but what the hell? Let's kill this guy again. And over here we got a bunch of Lynels, which... God, they are really annoying, honestly. They're dangerous as hell. And hey, look. This is where the Temple of Seasons used to be. Good lord. These guys are annoying as hell. Have I mentioned that they're annoying as hell? And this, I believe, leads right over to... The mountain! Remember that? Yeah, we're not going back. We've got an abandoned temple to explore. Wow, this is, this is really cool music, I have to say. It's not as memorable as, say, the, you know, the ruins or anything. Although these are ruins, technically. It's still very interesting. And we got these dudes to kill. And how about we switch over to Fall so we can access that little door over there. I don't know, just a theory. Could be wrong, I haven't been here in a long time. And, is my theory correct? No, it's not. How bizarre. And, somewhere doesn't look like it would be too useful. There's a portal over there. Hmm. Mysterious. Let's try spring. I have a good feeling about spring. No, oh, and fall doesn't work anyway. It's winter that makes the leaves fall off. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> it was fall, wasn't it? Ah. Uh. Alright, let's try that again. I feel dumb. I guess if you had moose, you could float over that, but... Uh, no, I, I don't have moose. I don't even think Pegasus Seed's rock feather, rock cape will, combo will do that. Yeah, see. Keep moving, ignore those guys, and see it works. For some reason I thought that would be a Deku scrub, I don't know. Over there. I don't know what season we're gonna want there. Hmm. How bizarre. Let's just cycle through them then. Probably not winter. They wouldn't make it that easy for us. Oh, it is winter, okay. Interesting. Let's head on to Subrosia. But why do we need Subrosia? We've already got all the seasons. I don't think. First things first. Get rid of that. Second things. Hey, you just threw a boss key into the. Those are bananas, you. Okay, I can. 
No, stop wasting boss keys. I need those. Fine. You know what I think about your stupid lava pit? That was a flu, you ass. Yeah, that's how I feel about your stupid lava pit. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, boy. I really need to stop throwing bombs at stuff. I'm, me and bombs just aren't very agreeable, I don't think. Whoops. That was... <clears throat> Goodbye. Alright, let's get out of here before I destroy anything else. And great, now we're filled with lava. And this does open up several opportunities for us. Ooh. This looks... Piece of heart. I must craftily... Ab craftily avoid it. Hehe. <laughs> oh, wait. It's a completely useless cave otherwise. Huh. Alright. Oh, and back to these guys. And I really dislike these crows. I haven't had much of an experience with them, but... God, they are they can be very irritating at times. Now, I'm thinking we're gonna need a... Yeah, I need summer here. Poor spring. It gets left out. Whoops. I don't know how I managed to do that. Actually, let's shoot some uh, gale seeds at it, because I don't really want to deal with it. Oh, are you telling me it, these don't work on it? Oh, you jerk. Fine, I'll just craftily avoid them. Here we're getting close. And hopefully this will drop hearts. And return to the map without gloves again. I am really glad that they abused the magnet gloves. Not abused enough in my opinion. And great, I'm at a quarter heart. This does not bode well for our hero. Hmm. Keys. I'm gonna boomerang you. Give me that heart. Fire! Oh, I made a profit. There we go. That's not a way to solve the puzzle. Maybe I'm being silly. Oh. Okay. That makes more sense. Alright, that's not hard. Oh, these guys, though. We're going swift little underground section. Requiring you to take out the jumping thing for... Actually, you could make that just riding on the edge corners there, but whatever. And these things will collapse, by the way. Be careful. Those guys... I don't care if there was treasure down there. I want to get out of here. And it's here. Interesting. Another Subrosia Warp. And it seems like this one was actually predefined and intentional. And up here we got the final dungeon. The Sword and Shield Maze. 
And this is where I think the Maker Tree is kind of misleading. He said he was in it was in Holodrum. It's not. It's in Subrosia. And we'll be exploring it next time. See you then.